The GOP presidential field grew substantially this week, with multiple Republicans jumping into the race. Former Vice President Mike Pence, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum all launched their campaigns this week. CBS News political director Finn Gomez joins us now. Finn, welcome. What a busy week. And yet you have some breaking news on uh, at least one other candidate who might jump into the race soon. What can you tell us? That's right, Nancy. Uh, Sources close to former Texas Republican Congressman Will Hurd tell CBS News that he is nearing a decision on 2024. Uh, Heard the former CIA clandestine officer has been seriously considering a run for the last couple of months. I spoke to him uh, in Iowa just last month, uh, and we could be seeing another candidate uh, jumping to the race in the near future. Uh, Also, of course, there is another another candidate that we should be a potential candidate that we should we should mention, and that is uh, the mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez. Francis Suarez has been open about saying that he is also considering his own run. I also just spoke to a senior uh, GOP source who says that uh, he is uh, moving in that direction of also his own entry. He has been uh, um, investing in uh in a, uh, in a super PAC, funds into a super PAC, and some of his city hall staffers have also moved to a political operation. So we, sh- we could be seeing a decision with that mayor as well. So clearly these two think there might be room for them in the race as well. And yet overshadowing everything is the possibility of a second indictment of former President Donald Trump, this time over his handling of right. classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. What would that mean for the race? Would it hurt him? It didn't seem to hurt him a lot the first time he got indicted. Uh, that is true. I, I, I've been speaking to uh, to sources close uh, to sources uh, from the other rival campaigns and camps who tell me that uh, uh, the former president, if you look at if you look at the Manhattan DA. Uh, case, for example, uh, his his ratings, his excuse me, his poll numbers boosted him right after that happened. Uh, they don't. This is a little more serious. Obviously, this is a federal case. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could be a uh, potential uh, federal indictments, uh, and and they believe that in the long run, as the cycle continues, they it could be uh, it could wound him to the point that he it can potentially knock him off that that podium, if you will, of being uh, the the front runner. Uh, they expect there, there to be some space there. Uh, but uh, again, um, if you look at the, the nearest polls, the, excuse me, the, the most recent polls, he's been up by double digits, right. uh, wide margins, in some cases, 30 to 30, 30 to 20 points. So these are not only the only two legal issues he's facing, no, no. a lot of challenges yes. uh, ahead of him. All right, Finn Gomez, political director, thanks so much for bringing us the uh, breaking news. Appreciate it. Thanks, Nancy.